Now we are going to learn the important concept of geometry that is congruence criterion. Now what are the congruent objects? Now if you observe any two postal stumps of the same denomination, so they look like of the same shape and also the same size. And if you see any two wings of the fan, so they also look like of the same shape and the same size. And if you see any two blades, means shaving blades of the same company, so they also have the same shape and also same size. Now we can define the congruent objects as the two objects having the same shape and also the same size are said to be the congruent objects. Now we can define congruent objects. Now the objects having the same size, same shape and same size. So first you can write same shape and same size. are called congruent objects. Now any two congruent objects have the same shape and also the same size. Now the relation of objects being congruent is called congruence criterion. The relation of objects being congruent is called congruence criterion. Now how the congruent objects look like? Now the congruent objects exactly cover each other. Now the congruent objects exactly fit each other or cover each other. Means they are the copies of one another. The congruent objects are the copies of, means trace copies or copies of one another. So the congruent objects are the copies of one another. Now how to examine whether the two objects are congruent or not. So we can use the superposition method to check to examine whether the two objects are whether they are congruent or not. Now let us see the congruence of plane figures. means how two plane figures are said to be congruent to each other. Now let us take any two plane figures like the figure 1 so this is figure 1 and you take another plane figure Now take the trace copy of the figure F2 and place it over on the figure F1. If two figures cover each other exactly, then the two figures are said to be congruent each other. So if you take the trace copy of figure F2 and place it over the figure F1, then if two figures exactly cover each other, then we say that the 
two plane figures F1 and F2 are said to be congruent to each other. Now the congruence of the two figures is represented by figure F1 is congruent to figure F2. So this is a symbol for congruence criterion. So we can say that if two figures are congruent to each other then we use the symbol to represent the congruence of the two figures. So here if the trace copy of figure F1 fit fits exactly on the figure figure F1 then the two figures F1 and F2 are congruent to each other. So if the trace copy of figure F2 fits exactly on the figure F1 then the two figures F1 and F2 are said to be congruent to each other. So then we can say that figure F1 is congruent to figure F2.